guys, it's Jessie B. And isn't this like the coolest background ever? So this is not my official Halloween background just yet, but I wanted to bring some tiny little Halloween vibes to September. And that is why I chose this glowing skull background. Are they sugar skulls? kind of look like them. And I'm now realizing that I'm really blending into the background more than I wanted to. But anyway, so because I have a new background behind me, that means I'm going to be announcing the backdrop winner from August. That winner has the username Lip Gloss 2000 Congratulations, girl. I have DM'd you. Send me your shipping information. And for everybody else who entered to win, thank you. And don't worry, there is always so many more backdrops to come. And if you would like to win this one behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, have your notification bell on, and then go and subscribe to my other channel called V Vlogs and have your bell on there as well. If you've already done all of those things, you are already entered. I choose randomly from the subscriber lists. And without further ado, let's get into this very creepy video. I just can't stop looking at the background in my viewfinder. It looks so good! So as you can tell by the intro, I am doing another phenomenon video. I don't have my ring on. Oh my gosh. Am I not engaged? Hold on. I'm back. I was wondering why my hand felt so empty. So it's back. It's fine. So yes, we are going to be talking about some creepy phenomenons from all over the world. Some are natural phenomenons and other ones are very paranormal phenomenons. I am just so obsessed with these kinds of things. I love the mysteries of the world. The first thing we're going to talk about are underwater crop circles. They've been called the crop circles of the ocean floor. Seven foot diameter pattern circles that were first spotted in 1995 off the coast of southern Japan. When people first discovered these, they were so afraid and so confused. In fact, the divers that went to go and explore them called them mystery circles. You can find them almost 80 feet below surface level, so they're way, they're way down there. This mystery went on for about 20 years and people could not figure out what caused them. In fact, their first thought was aliens because as you guys know, aliens can can leave circles like that. But finally, scientists figured out what exactly was causing these circles. Wait till you hear this. So instead of aliens causing them, they're actually caused by male pufferfish. The male pufferfish seems to be the culprit and is only five inches long. He was finally caught in the act. Basically, pufferfish make these circles to impress females. I'm just like imagining the girls swimming up like, oh, I like the circle that he made. I like how his circle ripples a bit more than those guys. Geometry. So yeah, that's kind of cute and not as scary as it being aliens, unless the aliens are literally disguising themselves as pufferfish. Like that's not impossible, is it? Like imagine if certain creatures are actually aliens and we don't know it yet. The next phenomenon is called the Flatwoods Monster. So this all happened in a very, very small town. There were less than 300 people who lived there. So this all happened in 1952 and there were two brothers playing in a schoolyard. It says they were ages 13 and 12. All of a sudden while they were playing, they noticed this bright pulsing red light in the sky above them. It was moving across the sky above them and eventually crashed at a farm nearby. So the two boys went and told their mother and the three of them ran over to investigate what fell from the sky. As they were approaching the farm, they started smelling sulfur in the air. It was a very strange scent and everyone started feeling slightly sick as well as the dog that was with them started growling, started freaking out and he eventually ran away. The closer they got, they started hearing this metallic whining noise. And that's when they saw a creature hovering above the ground by this farm. It says it was 10 feet tall with a blood red body and a green face that almost seemed to glow. It had claws for hands and there was a dense mist around this creature. Now this mist seemed to cover everybody in almost a gooey substance. So they obviously ran away in terror. They told the 
police, they told everybody in the town. It caused a massive uproar. And what's even scarier is it wasn't just them who saw this monster. That day there were 12 reports from people who saw it as well. So obviously the more witnesses there are, the more realistic it seems. So they called it the Flatswood Monster. It was all over TV, it was all over the newspapers. The people who witnessed this monster actually drew a picture of it and that picture actually exists out there online for you to see. So now this very small town is sort of known for having this Flatwoods monster there and tourists actually come from miles just to visit this town. There's merchandise of this monster. People have this monster on their license plates. There's signs all over the town about this monster. It's like a well-known thing in this town. It says they even put up signs on the highways that say home of the green monster. So people sort of concluded that it was probably an alien and it's just really freaky. The next thing we're going to talk about are the black-eyed children. Now I had heard of this sort of urban legend for a very long time. I've never actually researched it or done a video on it, so maybe you guys have heard of the black-eyed children, but let me tell you, there's a lot to know. The black-eyed children are a young boy and a young girl who are around the age of 10. No one knows exactly where they came from, but there are so many accounts around the world of people running into them. Conspiracy theorists believe that the black guide children are aliens who are trying to call home. Because basically the story goes that these black eyed children will arrive at your front door and ask to come in your house to use the phone. It says that even if you say no, they will insist and keep knocking on your door to try to get into your house. Anyone who encounters them almost immediately begins to feel an overwhelming sense of dread. They basically look like normal kids except that their entire eyeballs are black. They wear some Somewhat outdated clothing, it says they might knock on your door on a late, quiet night that you're home. Or if you're out, they might approach your car while it stopped. They may seem to want your help and they may look threatening, but they do want to come in. And no matter what you say, they will persist. So this urban legend came out years and years ago, but for some reason, the more articles I read about them, people are saying that they're being seen more often, which is so scary. People are seeing them at their schools, at their front door as usual, in parking lots, in dark alleyways. Reports of seeing them are steadily increasing, which is just so creepy. I know it's just an urban legend, but I do believe in aliens, so I don't think it's too far-fetched to think they could be living among us right now. And maybe they choose to be in the form of children because they look less menacing and people will most likely listen to children over tall, creepy aliens. Aliens. This next phenomenon is so unsettling. They're called the hanging coffins of Segeda, Philippines. I hope I'm saying that right. Basically, the people that live in Segeda follow a very strange burying ritual. So instead of burying people in the ground with gravestones like we're used to, they hang them up on the sides of cliffs in their coffins. Instead of being placed in the ground, the coffins are hung either inside caves or on the face of the cliff. It's so that all the people are beside their ancestors. Apparently this has been going on for the past 2,000 years. That is such a long time. Some of these coffins are over a century old, so they're falling apart. The reason the coffins were hung on the cliffs was due to the belief that the higher the dead were placed, the greater the chance their spirits reaching a higher nature in the afterlife. Now there are a lot of tourists that want to travel to see these cliffs, but they're actually really hard to get to. The road are very dangerous. Now, if you are able to go and see these cliffs, you can only view them from afar with binoculars. And the reason, like I said, is because some of these coffins fall down and you don't want to be standing underneath one when it does. So I think it's a very unsettling thing to be able to witness. But you know what? All cultures do things differently and we just have to respect that. And the last thing we're going to talk about is called Snake Island in Brazil. Snake Island is one of the most dangerous islands in the entire world. The reason why this island is so dangerous is because of the amount of snakes. It's actually crazy how many are there. It says there's a high density of golden lancehead vipers. Some studies report an average of one to five snakes per square meter. So literally they're covering the whole island. And that's why it's such a phenomenon because no one's ever seen anything like it before. So no one's allowed to go to this island. The snakes are kind of quarantined there for a good reason 
reason. And it confuses people why so many snakes got there to begin with. Like, why is it so overly populated with these vipers? And it says 11,000 years ago, sea levels rose very, very high and separated Snake Island from the mainland of Brazil. So these snakes just became hyper evolved, especially because they were isolated. Apparently these snakes are so venomous that one bite will instantly kill you. And that is another reason why no one's allowed there. It says because of their potency, the Brazilian government bans the public from ever setting foot on the island. As if you would want to anyways. Anyways though guys, those are all of the phenomenons we're gonna talk about today. If you enjoy me making these types of videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I would like to do another phenomenon video this week just because there's so many things I could tell you guys about. In fact, the next one I have planned will blow your mind. But anyways, guys, don't forget to enter to win this background behind me and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!